iOS 11.2.2 has been released. And yes, you should download it. Let's find out what it's all about coming up. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and yet another update is available for your iOS 11 iPhone device. Now this one comes in at 75.5 megabytes on the download and why this is titled yes you should download is because if you haven't heard there's a major flaw going on with all chipsets for pretty much all iPhone devices that are vulnerable to an attack. This goes for ARM based processors as well as Intel based chipsets. So so, you know, this one is definitely recommended because this can be the difference between getting hacked and not getting hacked going forward. So you want to do this update. Before we do the update, I'm going to go ahead and do a Geekbench here on the current 11.2.1 to see if things change in terms of performance. I doubt they will because we are testing the 11.2.5 beta already, which is like two dots above this. This was really, I think, just a quick update to get you guys on a security patch. You know, Apple's working quickly to try to get this rectified as fast as possible. So I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so here's the final Geekbench score on 11.2.2, 4248, and 1042, or 10,432. Let's go into the settings now, and we're gonna go ahead and update this short update. It should be done really quickly, and I'll be back when this is done. For some reason, this update is taking quite a while. It's already been about 20 minutes on this iPhone 10 to do this update, so definitely something's going on in the background. It's only a 75 megabyte update, and it's taking quite some time. So as you can see, I'm now updating to iOS 11.2.2. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is go into settings, go into general here, go to about and check out the version number. And you see that's iOS 11.2.2, 15C202. Now I am running the 11.2.5 beta on my iPhone 8 Plus. So I'm wondering now if the people who are running beta are no longer you know, gonna be secure with the Spectre and Meltdown issue going on with the processors on your device. Let's go into Geekbench and see if the speed has improved because it's funny how serious this security issue is on your iPhone. Yet more people are concerned with if the iPhone's gonna get faster. They don't really, you know, obviously this is important, but it seems like what I'm seeing in the community is a lot of people care more about their battery issues and their speed improving more than these security fixes. So let's go ahead and see if the performance has improved according to the Geekbench scores based on this 11.2.2. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the final scores are in 4267 on the single core and 10,405 on the multi core. So there is an improvement in performance here on Geekbench, meaning that we should be seeing updates to fluidity and speed going forward. And with all the controversy, of course, Apple is going to make the device go faster. However, the real important thing here is the Spectre and the Meltdown issues, which are vulnerabilities that were announced like a, a week ago or so that basically affect all Android phones and PCs and Apple devices. But you know, Apple controls their hardware and software, so they're able to push out these security updates quick. I've also got a security update on a couple Samsung phones as well. So if you're not an iOS user, you should be getting security updates soon as well for your device. But just basically, they also updated the Safari security. So if you guys wanted to, you know, browse on Safari and feel like there's no issues going on, Safari should be a little safer now. And with that being said, I think that we are gonna see some updates to, you know, if you're using Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, those things should be updated soon as well but other than that that's it here for this update go ahead and do it it's important for the security of your sensitive data and if you guys want to see a speed test i will consider it but i don't really think there's going to be a huge difference in speed there's no visual changes here and if you found this video helpful enjoyable do me a favor click that like button for me and if you're new here consider subscribing for more tech videos like this nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to be well and peace